Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Hockey Night at Pisa, brought to you by Memory to Video Productions. My name is Dean Cornelio. I'm joined by Rob Wisniewski, and tonight we bring you a D1 roller hockey battle between the Allies and the Dogs. A couple key points to hit on tonight, Rob. These teams are, are two teams kind of going in opposite directions right now, and the Allies are in a, in a position that they are not used to leading up the bottom of the league with a 2-4 and four record. The Dogs come in 4-3. and three. Uh, They had a great battle, though, the first time they met. Yeah, in the first battle, uh, it was uh, a lead by the Dogs, and then um, the Allies came back. Scotty scored with 11 seconds left and tied the game off, but the Dogs won that in overtime. So. Yeah. So it was a good one, and this should be, these teams are so familiar with each other, and that leads us to another yeah. point. what's your number? Uh, you mentioned oh, Scotty oh, in, in the opening here. Unfortunately for the Allies, they're a big bug, so to speak, with Scotty, who has half the team's goals, is not here tonight. So, but these teams are very familiar with each other, and you can talk about a few of the key ones. Yeah, Delgado, uh, there's a couple of guys that are on the... Uh, on the dogs this season that used to play, and Delgado makes a point to play against them. We've got Brian Curran and uh, Jamie Carrera. And, uh, you know, Delgado goes out of his way to make sure that these guys can't score. And they're former allies, they've been on the team. And I believe then there's uh, Jason Bashaw, is huge for this team. He always keeps the allies in games, even when they're struggling to score goals. They've only scored 25 this season. This is a team that scored 63 a season ago. But Bayshaw is consistently in the top of the league. league. Ba Bayshaw, top of the league. Uh, he's yeah, out what there in numbers again this season. I believe he led the league last season for save percentage. So, uh, you know, Bayshaw can go ahead and stand on his head today. We, you know, we could see another close game. 85% right now, so he's, as you mentioned, right at the top. And, and him and watching, I believe it's Jeff Rose is key. Uh, it's a key matchup there. So it should be a good one tonight. We expect another tight one. The Allies, more than any any game right now, need this. This Dogs team is 4-3, and three, as I mentioned. They're one of the teams they're going to be chasing for that fourth spot if they want to make play. Definitely. They, uh, at 2-4, and four, they're not quite all the way out of it at this point, but they need to make the turnaround tonight to, to make that push, and the Dogs are definitely a team they got to push on. And I think it's safe to say if they lose tonight, fall to 2-5, and five, it's over. It's going to be tough, tough, tough to make it. If you even if you went out at that point, you end up with a five, five record. Tough, tough to make the playoffs. Counting on everybody else. How good you guys exactly, huh? exactly. So we expect the spirited allies effort tonight. They want this one against a former couple teammates. Opening faceoff coming up. Allies, dogs. We'll be back with the opening faceoff in just a moment. Alex, a little louder, please. Alex, turn the volume up a little louder. What do you got there for notes? What are your notes saying um, about tonight's game? Two announcers. Can't hear them. Oh, What's the scouting report say? Watch out for uh, Dungeon Zero. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Okay. I'm going to try to refresh the types of your thing. Hey guys, really quick note, number seven. Yeah. Number seven is not uh, Jeremy Bauer. Seven is, uh, I'm pretty sure that's uh Hey seven, what's your number again? What, who are you? Rose. Rose? Number seven is Jeff Rose. That's seven non-goon. Right? Taller 14, supposed, supposed to be 24. Is that Pereira? Center's in and we are underway. Turner, offensive-minded defenseman. Heard Kelsey, got the ball across. Turner, very valuable, can play anywhere on the floor. Delgado to Kelsey into the middle, Turner. Thought about taking that slapper, played it back to the point. Here's Delgado. Joey Dangerous, that went right off the stick of Curran in front of the net. And there's Kelsey, nice move. Puts the backhand on. And the goaltender, Kunikiel, starter for the Dogs, made the first key save on Kelsey. Kelsey. 
12 points for the team thus far this season. Second on the squad in scoring. That's picked up, that's Pereira. On his backhand, hits the side of the net. We have two 14s now. Out of the deck for the dogs. Nice pass by Delgado, but it was anticipated by Curran, who knocked it away. Again, we talked about how well they know each other. Curran read that play like... Oh, he was, he was right on top of that team. And Bayshaw able to hold it out of there. Delgado. Poke check. Has Turner behind him. Turner helps out. Turner looks to the point. That's Nagy. Nagy will bring it back. Double zero, Brian Grant. Nice pass up. Here's Curran on his backhand, sends across. Turner on the defense there. Watrous out here now as well. Watrous will take the slap around Kunikil and he'll hold. And it's nice to see Brian Watrous back. Yeah, it's his second game back this season. Uh, last time he played, he had two assists. It was a good game for Watrous. He was good on the faceoffs that game as well. We'll see if they'll utilize him that way again. We'll step in against Curran. Anjanette Rieger playing forward with Watrous. Curran uses the wall effectively. Cuts middle, takes the shot, missed, rebound try, and Bayshaw keeps it out of there. Jim Benning defending. Bayshaw again, it hit him. There's an opportunity walking in and scoring. Horn was number seven. I believe that was Rose. That was Rose. Yeah. So Ripped that shot right under his glove on the right inside of the uh, left po or the right post there. Rose, one of the players we were talking about. Rose against Bayshaw, right? It, yep, that, that's been a matchup that's uh, been a killer for Bayshaw. Rose just seems to have his number. He has a nasty wrist shot. He likes to go high on Bayshaw, and he uh, beats him relatively consistently. So just a couple minutes in, the dogs take the one nothing lead. Watrous slip, and guess who again? Here's Rose. Up the middle, takes the shot. And that was deflected, I believe, off of Nagy, out of play. It was a good play by Nagy to, to make sure he got in front of that shot. Rose is uh, so deadly with that wrist shot from the top of the circle like that. And Justin Cowett also on our team tonight, and Justin is down by the dog's bench. Any, uh, any quick early insights there, Justin, from the visitor bench? We got a couple of missing players, big players missing, Glenn Cohen and Jeremy Bauer. They are not showing up for today's game, which puts them at a, uh, an offensive disadvantage. But uh, it looks like on the, on the ally side, you have, uh, they're missing Tommy or Scotty, put, putting Rieger and Delgado back there, trying to take his spot on the line. And it looks like the speed is starting to hurt him. Absolutely, so key players out on both sides. There's a nice move. Ball loose and Rose right there on the doorstep. Just missed that backhander. Benning to Rieger. Here's an opportunity. Taking it around the net. Kelsey has Turner. And Justin mentioned Glenn Cohen. Cohen missed all of last season with an injury, a groin injury. So yeah, Jamie and he mentioned how key he is to this dog's team. Him not here tonight. Huge uh, help to the Allies. Okay. If you will. Well, with only needing okay. to really contain Rose and their two former players, in, uh, so you got Pereira and Curran, uh, might be uh, might be to the Allies' favor in this one. Vincent trying to go up the middle, had a stick lifted. Here's Kelsey. Don't worry about me. If you kick me, I should be moving anyway. So don't worry about me. The allies bench a little short as well, and. You've got, you've got to think that the dogs are just as happy to not have to face Riscotti tonight. Oh, yes. definitely. Riscotti is a phenomenal player, counting for 12 of the 25 goals that the offense on the other team. 6.33 to go. First period, dogs with a one nothing lead. You mentioned Riscotti is 12 so far. He had 23 last season of the team's 63 goals. Uh, allies have so far this season, so when you, when you don't have a prolific goal scorer like that in your lineup it certainly makes it easier for the So 
but that doesn't tell you anything. A third of the goal production last season. He's got a, a half of the goal production so far this season. So allies are going to need somebody to step up and take that spot and put some in the net tonight. Turner is a guy that can do it there, Kelsey, and here's it's like Nagy. He'll make the move, he'll take the shot. Bunikiel is saved. Bunikiel's a goalie, you gotta get an early couple goals on it. He'll be sure right there. He'll throw him right off his game, as I recall. Yes, Joe, you get his head uh, early on and you can you can put up some numbers on him. And seeing as that we're about halfway through the first period, the allies need Great to get on him pass. soon. Oh, oh, oh. Great opportunity for Watrous right there. Sorry, Rob, to cut you off. That was a beauty by Navy. It was a beautiful pass. Absolutely, Watrous right in the right spot. And just couldn't put it home. Great those, save. Those are the ones that, that they have to beat uh, Kunikai with because if they don't beat him with those, he's just going to gain his confidence. It's going to be tougher as the game goes on. Kunikiel, a 5.67 goals against average. 81.7 save percentage. With a 4-2 and two mark, personally. Teams four and three overall. Brian Graff. Curran. You gotta think management here, Rob. Fringes every time they see Curran wearing a Z rank. There we shirt. go. Well, fortunately, <laughs> Z rank is no longer a competitor. <laughs> this is true. But there's been talk of other people trying to put up another rank and Oh, this is tough. This is the only rink in town in the area. Rath. Nice break up by Nagy. Across, nice pass. And the shot on. Couldn't get his glove on it. Rieger going to the front. Rieger made a nice pass to Watrous, who had that last shot opportunity. Watrous again, getting in there. He looks like he might be making a breakthrough tonight. Uh, allies can certainly use him to put one or two in. Shot on, rebound is there, and Bunikil, another great save. He used his stick to knock the ball away on the leader. Payshaw fighting it a little bit. That was a scary play there. Joe, keep doing what you're doing, buddy. Turner. Cuts middle, backhander, rebound go. try, and Kunikiel nice makes two go. great saves on uh, Turner. Do you want to take a second here? We're going to uh, talk about our sponsor tonight. Uh, game tonight is sponsored by Played Against Sports uh, from Southington, Connecticut. They have tons of gear, new and used at great prices. It's a great place to get some gear go. if you need to get some gear, especially if you're just getting into things. You don't have to shell out a whole lot of money up front. Always helps to have sponsors. So you, you gotta be kind to them and mention them to help you pay the bills. Curran tripped up. Delgado controls. Has Kelsey with him, gets him the ball. Kelsey. Left wing side. Fighting his way to the front of that ball, still loose. Smart play by Graf to play it to the side wall. And gets the return pass. Nice give. Oh, he intended for Curran. Yeah, he would have been off to the races. Curran almost got sprung for a breakaway right there by Graff. Just, just a bit out of his reach. Curran on his backhand right there, and he just missed a short side on base Shaw. Now trying to throw it through the crease. Far side working hard is 19, Joe Vincent. Here's Turner. 3.20 to play, first period. Dean Cornelio, Rob Wisniewski, Justin Coet with you here from Pisa. D1 Roller Hockey Action Allies needing a victory tonight against the Dogs to stay in playoff contention. Delgado fan on the one time. He needed that one-timer, and he fanned on it. He had a perfect opportunity because Konekiel was out of position and down and out. Nice play on the defensive end there. Looks like they moved Joey Delgado up to offense this time. Uh, after a couple shifts on D, looks like they rotate him on offense with Michael Kelsey. And Delgado takes the shot. And look what it got him there, Justin. He fanned on his opportunity with an open net. He made him back on defense after this. Six of his seven points are all helpers. 
Vincent will take the slapper right on. Nice shot, kept it low, rebound try. And Rose. Missed, but uh, Bayshaw able to, those quick rebounds come off that backboard. He had to be alert. Yeah, Bayshaw got a little help from Benning there too, because I think it squeezed out from behind him. It stuffed the tough from this position, but Benning had a stick in there to make sure it wasn't going over the line. Keeping this game close. Turner. Off the board's rigor. Ferreira, the shot kept it low. Pad save, base shot. Rose. Lanky with a lot of reach. Stay back, Gary. Stay back. Stay back. Definitely stretch it out if he wants to get those, get those long arms working for him to get around defenders. Through a blind pass that was broken up by Turner. Turner, one-on-one -on -one with Vincent. Takes the shot, trying to go through the hole, and Kunikil closed it, got a stick on it. Corner kill coming up big again for the dogs. Definitely keeping that one goal lead uh, precious for him right now. Herrera shot deflected by Nagy, and we get the whistle with a minute 14 to play here in the first period. And Justin, you face both of these teams. Does this uh, pace surprise you at all? Is this kind of what you expect? Um, counting on the players not being here, this is kind of the game I expected from these two teams. They're going to play a lot smarter, a lot slower, but uh, they're not going to take any, any big chances. But... Uh, it's really going to be now a battle of wits instead of the speed that uh, Glenn Cohen, Tom Riscotti, and uh, Jeremy Bauer brings. And just as you say that, a snipe from the right wing side. That was Graf. But a very good wrist shot there from the top of the circle. I believe Curran fed that over to him too. Also something to note, number 14, uh, Jamie Pereira is now playing defense, what he got on the team for it in the first place. Um, after talking to the captain, they talked to Jamie, Jamie about being a very conservative defenseman. You won't see him cross the other blue line that often. Well, especially if they keep increasing their lead, you would expect they'll focus on the defensive end of things. Watchers, he takes the shot. Good shot. Used. There was a big collision there between uh, Nagy and Pereira. Watchers used... The defenseman is a screen, and it could have up in the chest area and made it easy for him to stop. However, good opportunity, though, by Brian Watrous. Watrous one back to Turner. Here's Kelsey. Strong line out right now for uh, the Allies, trying to get one in the final 30 seconds. Poked away from Turner. Curran. Nagy with it. 20 seconds to go. Kelsey, final 15. For Delgado, anticipated by Graf, but Delgado has it. Three on one. Makes the pass, and they score the one timer. Turner from Delgado. Delgado. Very nice. Delgado. Goal with eight seconds to go. That could be a big goal here. That's a huge goal. That's a huge goal going into the to the end of the first period. Go into intermission, only be down by one. Unless things change here in the next eight seconds. But uh, that was a beautiful setup. It was a great pick by Delgado at the point. And he just brought that in. He saw Turner sitting wide open. And you know, you've got to capitalize on those opportunities. Hey, don't go. Nagy will also get an assist. Yeah. 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 He started the play. And that'll do it in period of one. So. And uh, you know, trying to get their lines, I think, in order without some of the key cogs that we mentioned not being here. Yeah, it's they're, they're both looking tentative and up hastily. They're making their proper plays. They're looking. They're looking to see what's wide open so that they can make sure they're getting back on defense, and we're seeing that on both sides. Makes for a pretty interesting game. 
Shots in the first period favor the dogs, 11-9. They hold the 2-1 lead. Goals by Rose and Graf for the dogs. And Turner on that late one-timer on a perfect pass by Delgado for the Allies. And the Rose, the Rose goal is something that, that was, I don't want to say expected in the way that you would think he's going to do it every time, but uh, you know, it, it, he's a difficult, difficult player to contain. Uh, he got the good look that he needed to get for that first goal in the first period there. And, you know, we uh, will probably see more from him throughout the game. But, and again, it's surprising to only see him with one goal on the season. Yeah, that that's surprising. He, he But he's only made three out of six games. Too. Certainly has an opportunity to turn it around tonight, though, because he has an excellent uh, shooting record against Bayshaw. Second period underway. And it's controlled by the Dogs. Rose last year had 10 goals, 15 points on the campaign. That shot deflected, and Bayshaw will cover to prevent any further danger. And it couldn't have happened any better for us on that game, because that was Rose with that nice rocket from the point. A pair of sevens facing it off. Rose, Kelsey. Better use than Delgado with a poke. Benning attempted as well. Backhand try right on, and that was a sneaky. That, uh, backhand is the hardest shot to judge, Rob, and that was no different. It was not a hard shot, but very difficult to judge for a big shot. Doesn't come off the stick true most times is what it is. You're, lo you're looking at the motion of the stick, and the yeah, goaltender just has to react. And Bayshaw bobbled that around a little bit, but that's to be expected on the backhand. Right? So it's a very good weapon for most offensive players. They love to use that backhand shot. Here's Benning, over the center stripe. Turner. Kelsey gets to it first. Keeps control. Now runs into Rose. But finds a friendly red jersey in Turner. Over to Delpato, he'll slap. And that's blocked. Rating a two on one the other way. Benning playing D. Shot, Bayshaw the save. And he'll cover. Official yells to play it. Turner will take it. Makes a, a move around 14 Pereira. And another move around Rose. Turner in, shoots. I think Turner had a lot more glove side than he realized. He's yeah, he looked like he pulled that one in a little too tight. He looked like he could have gone maybe a few inches higher, and certainly a little bit further out to the to the far side. He could have, he could have put that in right inside the glove side. Then. He's got that kind of accuracy. Turner again. He'll take the drive and just miss stick side. Benning with a poke. No hand pass there. It's Kelsey. Kelsey has Turner with him. Kelsey, drop pass. Turner. There you go. Double team. Couldn't get the shot off. Now Delgado. Looking for Turner. Nice look. Oh, he looked for Kelsey in front. Couldn't tip it home. The defender made a great play on that. I think it was Joe Vincent that lifted his stick at the last second. Otherwise, that uh, had a high probability of going in. Delgado. Walk in. Sent across, intended for Watkins. Delgado. Held up. Break for the dogs. Cutting middle. Negi with a poke. Delgado in to help as well. Herrera, a former ally. Delgado fans on it. Him and Bayshaw, a little miscommunication. Watchers are leaving for Nagy. Nagy walks in and missed far side. Oh, Kudakil had a dive across. Puck loose in the crease area. Good opportunities for the allies. Couldn't put one home. That was Joe Vincent again getting in behind Kornikil. He's out of position. Vincent sacrificing his body to make sure the ball doesn't go into that. Justin, what's the feeling down there on the dog's bench? I mean, the Allies get this late goal. And they've been putting a lot of pressure on here in the opening few minutes of period two. That's what they're talking about between these periods. Uh, the captain, uh, Curran, definitely does not want to change his lines, but he definitely wants shots more. He sees uh, Bayshaw giving up a little more rebounds, so they're changing their style. A little more of a shoot the ball at the net and chase it down, get these rebounds, get these goals. 
Seven and a half to play, second period. Two one dogs, all the scoring in the first period. Herrera on his backhand, looks to make a pass. Nice flip, intended for Rose. Nagy anticipated that. Look out by himself is Curran. Curran on base shot and he missed everything. Oh, he hit the net just behind the cage and the net out of play. Not the net he intended. No, no, that was a little high. A little high on that shot there from Curran. Looks like they also put, excuse me, looks like they put Delgado on defense now. So now they've jumped up Chris Turner on offense. So he's going to be on the line with Mike Kelsey now. See if they can get this uh, extra offensive power a little more uh, a little more visible on the scoreboard. Curran, 15 goals, 22 points. And you wouldn't have known it how he missed the net on that last exchange. But he makes himself open all the time and with the moves he has. He's had a number of those opportunities that he's buried in the past. Well, Dean, sometimes you get too much time like that when you're wide open in the, you're you're wide open in the slot and uh, you get too much time to think about it. You, you psych yourself out. And Curran trying to work it for Nagy. He couldn't, but the dogs with the ball back. That's Pereira. You mentioned Turner on offense, Justin. And I've seen these guys play for a few seasons now. And I know what he can do on offense, but I like the way he starts to play from the defensive end. He just opens up the floor and creates so many opportunities. But he controls it very well coming out of the zone. And he gives the opportunity, and there's a goal. The official waves it off, though. Kelsey had poked it in. What do you think? And the question is, why, Justin, do you, can you hear down there what, why the official waved it off? Um, they waved it off for, uh, the official called it a kick right off the foot, so that means he saw a motion, a distinct kicking motion, which did not cause a penalty, but it does bring the face off outside and a disallowed goal. You know, the, even though that goal was disallowed, I mean, the pressure is there. Right. Justin, I think you've been called for a few of those in your day, too, if I recall correctly. I try anyway to get them in the net and see what I could do with them. Here's Curran. The Z-Ring special. Takes the shot off the side of the cage. Rath. Pereira. This is a strong unit out here for the dogs. Just over six minutes to play. Middle, middle stands right here. Still 2-1. Here for the dogs. Shot short side off the side of the cage. Delgado watching Pereira closely. These two, along with Kern, always have some friendly banter, and it's always entertaining to listen to some of the back and forth that goes on, especially on social media. Yeah, it'd be nice, too, if we could have them mic'd up here and some of the stuff that we can hear, because we we're right here at, on location. If they were mic'd up, I think our listeners would enjoy as well. I'm sure Delgado's working on that for his uh, next advancement in the production. Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Shot deflected by Benning. Curran's opportunity, here's Delgado. Broken up Pereira. That's not the guy he wanted in this case. And Bayshaw, good save, no rebound this time. And Curran knocks Delgado down. Well, Delgado might have acted just a little bit in that one. Uh, and Curran helping the old man up. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think Delgado might have been handing that up a little bit there. <laughs> hey, any way to get a call, just like Justin down there said, any way to try and get a goal? Any way to try and get a goal? Been my motto for 18 years. Back from prior to the junior days, but we won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Shot on, rebound is there. And Basha, well, it was there, but not for long. Great concentration by Basha on that, Dean. He, he followed the ball through Delgado's legs to make sure that Curran couldn't poke it in on the, on the short side there. Again, this game sponsored by Play It Again Sports. 5.04 to go, second period. Dean Cornelio, Rob was missing, Justin Coet with you. Alex Gerber doing the tough work behind the camera. We just have to talk. Here's Nagy. Rieger looking for some help from Watrous. Pass was set behind him. Curran knocks it down from the state to Stick and try to go short side on Bayshaw, who had it covered and said no. Bayshaw seems to have Curran's number right now. He's getting in front of everything that Curran's throwing at him. 
Watch this. Current on the draw. Current to Rose. This is a deadly combination for the dogs up front. And they got a man sneaking in right there. And he missed the one timer, Graf. Boy, well, Graf had a prime there. opportunity there. And he just whiffed. You know he wants that one back. Watchers to shot. This looks to be a very powerful line for Salty Dogs here. Really going against uh, one of the not stronger lines of allies. We'll see if they can capitalize. Curran probably playing that one. Or at least they'll tell you he did. Then he looks like a genius, right, Justin? <laughs> we know you've said that about the yeah. team in general. I, I definitely, definitely have. Too many times. <laughs> Dean, I gotta mention Joe Vincent's defensive play here. I, he has been he has been spot on tonight. If Cornerkill is out of position, Vincent has been there every time to bail him out. And Allies gotta find a way to get around Vincent more so than Cornerkill at this point. He's made a few saves in the crease. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, guys. Kelsey, guess who's back? Kelsey will take the shot. Cornerkill with the save this time. Vincent was there defending, however. Vincent will send around to the blue line. And here's a break for Rose. Cutting in the middle, mid short side. Nagy, high off the boards and all the way down. Kelsey is there. Vincent, number 19, back to defend. Kelsey lost his edge. You would have thought he was on ice there for a moment. Nagy picks it off, top the circle, takes the drive. Kunikil not sure where it was for a moment. Oh, and that one, Kelsey puts his arm up. He thought it kind of hit maybe back under the crossbar and came out, but official down low, waved it off. I believe that was Eric Pence. Yeah, he's right on the line, so he's got a good view of it. I mean, much better than we do up here. One thing about the officials, Rob, and you know it, you're an official. It's hard to argue when you're in the right position. That's absolutely and true. And it's when you're not in position that players get frustrated. Well, the player, players definitely have a right to be frustrated right. if you're not in the right position. But Bent's right on the line there. You can't, you can't really argue uh, his call on that. Turner, could he tie it? No, sir. He tried to go back stick side. He had the right idea because Kunikia was cutting across. And he left a little space there. Kalunikiel just got his just got his toe on that one, got it up and out of play. I bet you Cowette would have found the back of the net on that one, right? I couldn't find the back of the net with the map and a compass. Jo Joe's definitely playing an amazing game out here. This is uh, really helping out the Salty Dogs today. Here's Pereira. Final two minutes of period two. Nagy and Pereira battling on the wall. Back to help is Watrous. Brian will flip it to the far side out of imminent danger, but picked up. Now Donald blocks the shot of Pereira. Now kicks it to the corner. And the official Brian Delude there hit off him. Pereira. Pereira will cut little on his backhand. And almost a souvenir for us, Rob. It would be nice to take one of these My Life Balls home. I think I'd do the Wrigley Field and throw it back. Unless they sign it for me, then I know I can put it on eBay. You get about 50 cents for it. <laughs> I could sign it for you guys. Anyway, that'll be less than 50 cents. <laughs> Watchers the shot. Rebound right there. Oh, with Watrous fan on it. With the way that the Allies have been coming at the dogs this period, it, it just seems like it's a matter of time, Dean, until they uh, tie this game up. Still 45 to go. That one tipped off of Rieger and out of play. So 42 seconds left. Any late last-minute strategy down there by the dogs, Justin? Dogs don't to be changing the strategy too much, but uh, there looks to be a whole lot more rotation from the Allies. Not so much the uh, physical line placement of them, but on the floor they seem to be rotating a lot more. Defense jumping into offense and vice versa. Um, I think that may be uh, deadly for the Salty Dogs here, so we'll see if that uh, pays off in the last 42.
It's no surprise to see Kurt and Rose, though, out for the last 32 together on the offensive end. That shot, Payshaw got a glove on it. Here's Rose. Rieger got a stick in there. Watrous anticipated that one, but Curran got back. Curran will play it to his other defenseman. Rose calling for it off the boards and gets the pass. Under 15 seconds to go. And in the middle, Turner bro broke it up. Can Turner get a late run as he did in the end of last period? Turner. Kelsey shoots. Oh, a great up. save by Kunakila again, preventing goal in the last 10 seconds. Great save up. by Kunakila. Rush that the Allies were looking for, Rob, and Turner can create it as a, we talked about earlier, and he did found Kelsey point blank, and Kelsey missed it. You don't see that happen very often. No, and, and again, what we had mentioned earlier about Turner being a good quarterback, coming out of his zone, making that play from deep in his own zone. He comes out with some speed. He splits the offense. He gets it down to where he makes a good pass, a high percentage shot for Kelsey. Uh, corner kill just coming up. It's coming up big. Justin, I, let us in on any uh, any third period plans for our, the dogs who have a 2-1 lead, all the scoring in the first period. I think here they're looking to uh, spread out to play more. It looks like they bun that bun they bunched up a lot in the second period. So uh, they're calming themselves down. They're spreading out. They're seeing if they can make this floor a little bigger than it actually is. But the story of this period has really been Joe. Joe's played amazing in net. He's been making big save after big save, especially that last one with five seconds to go in the period. I, uh, I see him being the headline of this game. And as much as we talked about Rob and as much as we talked about the Allies turning, coming back and really getting a lot of offensive opportunities, they can't bury one. And that, that could come back to haunt them. Well, this seems to be where not having Riscotti is hurting them. Is that Riscotti being their big goal scorer, having, you know, almost half of the, half the goals this season? Right. He's got his bury in it for him. I think they're getting their opportunities. Corner kill's coming up huge. And just like what we had mentioned earlier in the game, too, is you've you got to get on top of Joe early. Hey, you, you have to get a couple of goals in on him early on. It, it shakes his confidence. And he has just been, he has just been getting better and better as the game's going on. <laughs> Final 11 minutes about to be underway. Curran steps into the face-off circle. Ball is dropped, and here we go. It's Kelsey and Turner starting the offensive offensive shift. So a strong offensive start, and then some. Here you go, Rose. Did that go in? That was that shot came in and out so fast that I thought it may have hit. But Justin, you got a great look at it probably from your angle down there. I do agree with the official here. It looks like it hit the inside of that post and hit the center of our nets. Our nets are actually shaped like the B, like the old 1970s style. Hit the center of that B and ricocheted right out. That was a rocket from uh, from Jeff Rose over here. So Rose and just and like wow, that, Turner answers in five seconds so two goals in the first 12 seconds after we couldn't get anything in period two i was going to tell you guys uh look for smart passes this uh period but looks like these quick legs are going to prevail so it was rose from curran at the seven second mark and turner at the 12 second mark and now we're at three two Shots were 7-7 seven, seven in the second period. Two period total. 18-16 in favor of the Dogs. Curran has to chase. He wanted to work it by Navy. Benning in to help Curran in front. He scores! Yeah. Oh, nice try. Kept go, that Brian. low and Bayshaw didn't go down. <laughs> Curran made a smart play coming out of the corner there to use his hand to keep that ball in front of him. And it went right down to his tape and he just put it inside the far post. That's a... That's a tough shot for a goalie to uh, stop when you got a sniper like when you got a sniper like Curran. So suddenly, the lead doubles at four to two, and here's Curran again. Nisha with the poke. 
Yeah. I know we keep coming back to Riscotti not being here, but the, the history between these two teams has been that the allies seem to uh, be able to come back against the dogs uh, pretty consistently. So we'll have to see if somebody somebody steps up here. Uh, looks like Turner so far has been the man on the ally side. Hey, Shaw, good stop on Rose. Rose again in the slot. Gets control of it, shoots it. And Bayshaw may have got a piece of it with a stick. Rose. It's the Rose and Curran show right now. Rose looking for Curran. Maybe he broke that up. Riscotti's made five out of six games. And one thing we should mention, one of the Allies' losses. And you got to remember the Pisa policy when it comes to weather-related issues. And during the evening of a snowstorm, the Allies had a game where they couldn't get enough players to show up and they had to forfeit. So that was one of their losses and that, that hurt. It does hurt, um, but ultimately every team is subject to that and it's been the policy for years at this arena and everybody knows it. Nobody's really thrilled about it, but no. because they have so many leagues and so many teams here, uh, they've enforced that policy forever. Since day one. Broken up, here's an opportunity for the Allies, but great hustle by Rose to get back and get there first. Wonderful work, he's not playing defense either, but he is the Allies version of Chris Turner. With his size, with his reach, and the way he can play both ends of the floor. Tall, lanky, has speed. He has the same ability as Turner, bringing it out of the zone, making people miss uh, so that he can make good passes to his to his line mates. Making Justin look silly when they play Team Jenner. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, Justin. I was traded this season. You were traded? I was traded. They How can Jenner get rid of their cat, one of their team leaders? I don't get it. It must have been for a money issue. They couldn't afford your contract. That, and they also got a couple first round draft picks out of the deal, so we'll see if that helps them down the road. 8.04 to go, third period. Dogs four, allies two. Dean Cornelio, Rob Wisniewski, Justin Coet with you here from Pisa. D1, roller hockey action, and we mentioned it early, but the allies need this. And if they don't get it going in the last eight minutes, and they fall to two and five, I don't see playoffs yeah, in their future. Behind, this is a team behind. that has only missed the playoffs once in 22 seasons. Once. And they're definitely in jeopardy up right right. And there's a goal, but wait a minute, not so fast. Kunikiel made a good save earlier on a redirection. This time, it's Kelsey from Turner with 7.45 to go. And the Allies, Rob, you mentioned it, they tend to come back on these guys, and they're gonna try to make a statement. I think that quick goal earlier in this period, Dean, uh, did get into Kunikiel's head, and uh, that was a great play. Kelsey was in the right spot. Turner again, quarterbacking like he can. Uh, he makes a great pass in front. Kelsey doesn't uh, doesn't disappoint this time. Barrera, face off dot, and he put it over the net. Turner trying to slow it up. He wanted to get it back to Benning, but Barrera saw what Turner was doing and anticipated the play well. Delgado wanted to help out his fellow defenseman. Throws it up the middle. Delgado got away with him there. Throwing it up the middle. Yeah, especially with Graf back. Uh, he's, he's a very, very smart player. He passes incredibly well. So you have to be in the back there. It's quite a whack there on Turner by Pereira. Turner is back into the point, Delgado. Delgado flips it. Pereira got his glove on it. And look out, here's a break the other way. Bayshaw's going to have to come up big. Here's Pereira walking in, takes the shot, and Bayshaw with the answer. Holding his team to a two-goal deficit. Turn alone in front. Delgado getting back late. Joey tripped up. Eric Benz thought he made that one look good. Wasn't going to make that call, and I don't know that there was anything there anyway. I think he might have, he might have got tangled with the ball on that one. Yeah. Here's Graf. Graf over the line. Wanted to leave it for Curran. Nagy trying to work the ball away. 
Kelsey in to help out. And Kelsey skates away with it, has Turner with him. Two on three though, with a back check of Curran. Kelsey, oh nice job to get that shot off and flip it. But Kunikiel with the stop, 5.59 to go. Still looking a little shaky there though, he bobbled that a little bit before he got in his glove. I think uh, Jason Bashaw here is, right, has something in the backstory that we're not knowing. His, uh, his movements have been slow and sluggish today, and he keeps, uh, he keeps touching what looks to be his right hip. So we're going to see if that's going to be a story after the game or not. There you go, Brian, I think I know what the clear. problem is. He's wearing a Carolina Hurricanes jersey. Clear, That'll doom anybody from the start. <laughs> oh, man. On the backhand, it's Rose. When you wear that jersey, that's sure to drop your save percentage. Hopefully Mr. Bayshaw changes it up next game. Here's Graf. Graf with Curran gets it to him. Top the circle, slapping one, and a bad save. And Bayshaw, Curran tried to go low stick side. Delgado with a drop. Watrous with a drop. Somebody's got to shoot it. Nagy lost it, and it's Graf the other way. Graf walks in, Curran the opportunity. But we haven't seen Bayshaw really go down consistently. I mean, I haven't seen him drop it. I know you mentioned on one of the Curran goals that it's kind of hard to judge that, and Curran is such a prolific scorer anyway. You kind of pick your poison, and he picked the wrong one. Please. We see him go down here, but slow to get up a little bit. Oh, could, could be something related to what Justin was talking about. If he's favoring his hip, he may not be wanting to go down and standing up and playing an up top game today. Curran, four and a half to go here in the third. The dogs can start to dump it down. Of course, when you have Jeff Rose down there, Rose trips up Nagy. Pereira going to the front, and Delgado, a great defensive play there to break up the pass. Rose might have gotten away with one there behind the net. I think so. That was closer to a penalty than anyone. Backhander off the post by Rose. That one come back to haunt the dogs. Slapper wide ears Nagy. Under four minutes to play in regulation. Allies trail by a goal. They did come back late in the first meeting, as Bob mentioned in our opening, with Riscotti scoring late in the final 11 seconds. Turner. The Allies still have their timeout as well. You expect that they'd use it if they got the opportunity. Shot glove save, Kunikiel, and he battled that a little bit as you were talking about. Rob still made a good save though, and watch us with that opportunity. He did. He's fighting through it. He's, he's pushing on. You know, just, just over three and a half minutes left. We'll see how he does. Just want to bring up our sponsor again, Play It Again Sports in Southington, Connecticut. They have tons of gear, new and used for great prices. Shop for all your sporting needs at Play It Again Sports. And Brian Curran just gave you a chance to do that by calling a timeout. Justin, give us the report down there and see what, uh, what they're talking about, what their plan is. I think they did the Allies a favor here by calling a timeout. The Allies need to rest their guns. They need the goal. Salty Dogs look like they just use this just to collect themselves, get their strategy up set, all set, but it's mostly so they can get their breath. They were talking about how they were starting to get gas, so they wanted that timeout just for themselves. So they're all just talking about fresh legs right now, and uh, watch you see these short shifts and rotate these fresh legs in the rest of this three minutes. Where do the, uh, I mean, you've played in this division long enough, where do you think the Allies need to go to beat Kudakil here to tie the game? I think they just need more shots. I mean, any particular area that I mean, you you've come down plenty of times on them, but uh, any spot that they should be looking for to to pick to maybe try and beat them? They've been doing the right idea. They've been trying to stay right off the post, so that really because Joe's been slow moving post to post. But uh, even with that being said, he's still covering both sides well. But if I was going to try to shoot and score, I was going to put it. I'd probably stand about ten feet off the post. 
I'd agree with Justin there, Dean. I'm noticing that uh, he's, he's having trouble getting side to side. Um, his, especially on the stick side tonight, he's, he's weak getting across on the stick side. If I'm, uh, if I'm on the allies and I'm playing offense, I'm going stick side on him, maybe high, uh, trying to spread it out, hopefully get a two on one. Nagy, that's a high stick. Nope, Pereira plays it two on one. Pereira and Kerr. Pereira. Lost control of the ball temporarily. Kerr on a bad angle now. He's not going to get much going in. Kelsey, three minutes to go. Behind you, Jamie. Nagy, again, that's dangerous. They're flipping it right through the middle. And players like Pereira are going to see that. This is the second time he just did that in the last minute. You gotta watch it. You gotta watch out for Rose too, because when Rose is out there, he's fast enough. He gets the Jets going. He he might pick that off. He's lanky. He's tall. Speaking of Jets, there's Turner. Didn't get much on that one. Move it. Good work there by Graf. Really a nice job to keep the ball away from two of the key scorers for the Allies, and then flip it all the way down. Maybe. We see the dogs drop back into a defensive-minded shell here. Hey, stay in front, stay in front. Kelsey. Turner looking for it. On, on, on. It really hurts to not have that prolific third scorer. You've got Nagy and Turner they're going to focus on. And Watrous when he's out Don't there as well. If I'm the Allies now, I don't know how you feel, Justin, but you've got to get Watrous out there, too. Okay, okay. Watrous with, with Turner and Kelsey. Yeah, boy. I think, uh, if I had to guess, I think that's what Jim Benny's going out for, is uh, let's see what this line change brings out here. I would expect but, a timeout as well. That, they're looking like they may be circling around looking for this timeout, so this actually may be the perfect time make sure. And there you go, you guys called it. So a minute 52 left on the clock again. If you're going to put on a uh, quote-unquote power unit at any point with what you have to play on the bench, you got to do it now. Well, if I'm managing these lines right now, Dean, I'm thinking Turner and Kelsey up front because they've been connecting really, really well. Watrous has played defense yes. at points in his career. And he's got a good shot. And he has a phenomenal shot. He has both a great wrist shot and a good slap shot. I put him on the point, and I get Nagy back there, too. Nagy has, Nagy's been picking some stuff off. So he, he's good for keeping it in, so we'll see what they do here. And there actually steps on the floor Joey Delgado. He's probably going to be their uh, rock on defense, and uh, I wouldn't be shocked to see them jump three men in the offensive zone. So expect Nagy perhaps to move up. And maybe Watchers will come out if they pull the goaltender. Maybe a little too early to bail on your defense totally, so leaving Delgado back there is probably okay right now. But if this stays like this uh, with less than a minute, they're going to want to get all kinds of offense out there because you don't win the game by keeping the score one goal down. Kelsey Rose got in the way that Curran shoots and a good save by Bayshaw to keep it a one goal disadvantage. Minute 33 to go. Here we go, B. Delgado, they got to get the ball across. They got two guys. Take it out. Turner in front. Oh, that hit the side of the net. Wow, that was an unlucky bounce for the Allies. Delgado across. Nagy. Here comes Ryan Watrous after the goalie being pulled. So Watrous is out there for Bayshaw. A minute five remaining. Delgado. Delgado down here for Watrous. Watrous across. Look out. Turn, trying to pick it up. Turner comes back for it. Leaves it for Nagy. Nagy takes the shot. Head save. They need to double him. Now they triple him. Nagy trying to go short side. He almost, he had a little space there. Looks like and he got a little action behind the net here. Matching roughing calls here. Relax, guys. Relax. Brian Watchers looked to be protecting Michael Kelsey, who got an extra shove after uh, both Graf and Kelsey got a, into a little bit of a connection physically. So. Watchers. And Graf, who's been one of their key defensemen. Well, you know, I'm looking at, I'm looking at what's left out here. I mean, they bring out they bring out Pereira and they bring out Vincent on the dog side, and, and I think 
lose in watch race is going to be uh, more key for the Allies. And Curran sends it down into the open net wide. Delgado, an even 30 seconds to go here. Allies with the extra man. They have Benning in front. I agree, that's, that's a tough spot. And look how Curran's gonna maybe put in the empty net here. And he does, and that is gonna do it with 17 seconds to go. So Curran, his second for the game. And they are just gonna run the clock here, it looks like, folks. So, the Allies call off the dog, so to speak. And that's gonna do it in this one, so. Justin, great work down there throughout the entire game. Thank you very much, thank you for having me. Great to have you on, and uh, teams are shaking hands, and this one though, this is a tough one for the I think allies just, to swallow. I think Justin hit a key uh, midway through the game, uh, with saying Kunikai was gonna be the difference maker, which I think he was. The allies had plenty of, plenty of opportunity later nope. in the game, and, Kornikai Kornik was on top of things. And just when you thought maybe he was cracking a little bit, you were like, oh, you know, maybe this is, see him shaking a little bit when the Allies got some control in that second period, rolling the third period, having a little trouble. Uh, 30 seconds or so until another shot came in. Sometimes the shot wasn't as challenging the next time. It allows the goalie to build up the confidence again and Kunikai standing tall. And, and obviously, you talked about it all game, we talked about it, how key Riscotti is. But again, one more maybe offensive weapon. This game could be a different story. I think we saw how valuable he is. Oh, I, I, I totally agree. And losing Watchers there at the end, I think that really put a damper on the comeback for the Allies. Jim Benning is a defensive minded defenseman. He's not really a forward. And, and again, plus the, the, the body, Brian is a Big body in front of that neck would take up a lot of space. Unfortunately, they didn't have it. Curran put the icing on the cake, and it looks like now, uh, barring a miraculous turnaround of three consecutive wins and other teams losing, it's going to be a case of too little, too late. Yeah. Well, this is where the Allies don't control their own destiny. Right. Um, they, they definitely need teams ahead of them to lose. Uh, the dogs being one of them. And it's, it's going to be it's going to be a tough climb for them to make it through the rest of the season. Winning three games in a row is tough enough. Right. Winning three games in a row and expecting uh, your opponents to lose it's a tall order. Their hope is the Avalanche sit in a tie for fourth with eight points. They're four and four. They only have two games remaining. Maybe they split or you know they, obviously the Allies will hope lose both. Then you have to beat them out in the Dragons who are sitting at. Uh, Two and six, but this drops the Allies to two and five, and in dire, dire, uh, dire situation at this point. And, so. and the tough part is, is that each of those teams has at least one sniper on it that can change the game at any point. And we see what happens tonight. If Scotty's not here, prolific, prolific goal scorer for the Allies. Two, two goals. I mean, really, if you take away Curran's open, you know, empty net goal right. there at the end, it's a one-goal game. Scotty could be the difference maker there. Easily, easily. So, and, and I think just to, to wrap it up a little bit, this, <clears throat> the Allies have, if you've watched them historically and looking at the past few seasons, and I've followed them a little bit, they have a huge roster. However, that roster consists of a handful to a half dozen guys who only make two to three games. Where on the dog side of things, you have nine or ten tops, and each of them has made five out of seven games six out of seven games. So I recall saying it on a previous broadcast, but I think in this case with them likely missing the playoffs, that Joey Delgado has to take a look at how he's putting the roster together. And you have 15 guys, but again, six or seven of them show, you know, 78% of the time, and the rest of them maybe half. Well, any coach in any league is going to tell you consistency is going to win. Because if you have the same guys out there all the time, they get comfortable with each other. They don't need to force so much attention on on 
where everybody is at and they can play their own game. And that, that seemed to be part of a comfort level for the dogs tonight versus the allies. And again, uh, you can only put so much on the shoulders of Jason Bayshaw. Uh, Justin said it during the game. It was a nice pickup by him that he thought Bayshaw was favoring something. It wasn't Jason's best game that we've seen out of him. But the allies have put a lot on his shoulders this season, too. They have, and I still think he was he was right around his average for for goals. Uh, I'm sorry, not goals against, but save percentage tonight. So I, you know you really can't put this one on Bayshaw at all. No, they weren't able to finish offensively, and they were missing key you know key cogs to be able to play that game. So that's going to wrap it up for here. Great broadcast by everyone tonight. Thanks to Alex Gerber behind the camera, Justin Collette on the sideline for us. Rob, great working with you. I'm Dean Canadio. That's going to wrap it up here from uh, Pisa. Tough one for the Allies. The final score tonight, Dogs. They improve overall to a record of 5-3, and three, and they look in good position to move up in the standings in D1. Allies fall to 2-5, and five, and they are in need of a lot of help. Once again, the final. Dogs 5, Allies 3. Good night from Plainville Indoor Sports Arena. Have a good night, everyone.